hello all this is the introductory c la programming language session so this is basically for beginners day 1 session i will discuss overview programming language concept c program components c learning ecosystem c is most popular system programming language when we say system it means that anything which has a cpu and components to make a complete system it needs a programming language and system is uh, this based on the intelligence by programming and c is the most popular language in that sense it was developed for unix based systems and linux and mysql are written in c for example nearest to assembly language as you know that after binary opcode then assembly is the nearest to cpu then after assembly this is the nearest high level language to the cpu so we'll install eclipse ide from embed curry toolbox and uh, article given there in the embedcurry.com and that will cover tax editor compiler assembler linker and debugger so everything in one particular integrated development environment what is the programming language since this is for beginners so let's try to understand the concept of programming language program is a set of predefined instructions to a device or cpu let's take an example of normal language we use for communication Mr A ask a fast food person Mr B give me one large pizza this is the normal communication at the fast food joint here give me each instruction and rest is data the data itself has three parts quantity size item description quantity is one size is large item is pizza mr v has to decode both instruction and data elements then act accordingly Mr B may also check payment status means if you are going to pay by card then check that payment done or not and then Mr B is already trained to do the required action now one can replace Mr B with machine learning trained robot or a pre programmed vending machine that is where our programming language comes into the picture and there may be another customer with different order different size different item so this is the way we used to have different functions and corresponding actions let's try to understand that programming com components 
group of instructions working on data that is uh, in the last slide we have seen instruction with data when we say group of instructions working on data then comes to the picture of functions another one data can be considered can be constant or variable at run time then comes the component variables it can be constant data is not a variable but variable is which will change at run time and different kind of data like numbers can be there for example in last example now one was one example and uh, characters can be there the strings can be there strings are basically that group of characters so that will make data type and different actions are possible based on the conditions set for input data what is input data based on that input data what action has to be taken in our last example if payment failed so that visa will not be given to the person so that's why the control statement and expressions comes to the picture so these are the component of a program build process next thing comes to the picture you have a dot c file that is called a source file that is a text file with dot c extension and written with statements or instructions with data or group of instructions that is functions or all the program components that will pass through a preprocessor and then it will become c object uh, c after preprocessor basically and then compiler will compile it and create the object file finally linker will link different object file and create the executable file so preprocessor output is this and then compiler output is this object file and finally linker output is executable file this is the way it works so while doing experiment we'll understand that what kind of output preprocessor will provide preprocessor will basically replace a lot of readable text item and by corresponding data that is one quick understanding i can provide you and what is that token in terms of compiler token is the smallest element of c program for compiler so can be keyword identifier constant string special symbol operator so we will see one by one all these things and keyword are predefined or reserved words let's see what are the keywords there are 32 keywords in c and additional after c99 that that is different thing and first primitive data types and related keywords what are the primitive data types for example integer long double float sort character unsigned sign so don't worry about all these things we will discuss everything in the forthcoming slides what is the use what are the so just 
this is the basic description i am providing that uh, regarding that what is basically this thing the keyword next keyword may be custom data type there are three related custom data type related keywords not custom data type exactly so which will help in forming the custom data type struct enum type div and how these will help that we will see later and control statements are there 12 so these are like go to if else do while for return switch case brack continue default these are the control statement which will change that flow of the uh, statement execution the storage specifier for auto register static action and type qualifier are there these are the constant or volatile two are there so these all miscellaneous are uh, void size of union so these all form the keywords so instead of providing all keyword 32 keyword together we just grouped in different you know uh, that basis based on their uses that I have grouped these things and uh, for better understanding so there are some additional reservoirs added c99 onwards so let's see data type first so c type machine type size so i have taken uh, uh, this arm um, ap application binary interface example and uh, this is basically similar in x86 uh, also uh, so you can find the similar kind of size and all that so uh, character so whatever these data types depending on that particular application binary interface whatever the available and i have discussed this application binary interface in my um, other videos or articles at embedkari.com and you may refer to those for detail detail explanation has been given for risk power pc arm x86 all so in a nutshell for um, programmer it is just uh, you know the data type and size so character is basically unsigned byte it means that that particular character will have 8 bit and it will represent the unsigned data means 0 to 255 it will use complete 8 bits size is 1 byte size is given in byte unsigned character and these both are same thing in terms of this machine signed character will have one lap most bit used for positive or negative and other seven bit will be used for data so that will be minus uh, depending on that uh, what that value 127 to plus 127 kind of and similarly for sort signed sort is basically two bytes that is called half word because word is our four byte and there may be unsigned also that is the 16 bit completely utilized for that and similarly signed word four and unsigned word and here also one bit signed word is used for sign purpose plus minus and all other bits total 31 bits will be used for the value and it that list goes on and then it comes to float double long double so those things are there next storage specifier auto by default the data type that storage will be auto so local variable with local lifetime means that variable life will end after its scope is over and action or global variable so those will be basically 
the variable defined outside function will have global scope and some will have let's say file scope or external uh, like uh, from other uh, files also and static will have basically that preserved value even after its scope ends so that is the st static so if you define a static variable within a function then although its scope will be over after function but it will retain the value so next time when you when that particular function will be called so you will find the same value so this also we will see in the experiment okay so that uh, register register is basically you stored in cpu register and variable used often can be defined in this category from performance perspective because you will be having limited cpu register and but keep in mind that the, you have you have this limited cpu register so it has to be used very carefully so here is the exercise first exercise we'll do for this that is what we need to do define a variable based on different storage specifier or to static or mm, you know a uh, different kind of data types and check the size of data type defined as i told you different data types are the character and all those kind of things and check the default initial value and memory locations of different storage classifier and this is this will be the first project so this complete exercise will be part of the workshop and uh, this is just i was discussing the theory and the workshop uh, basically that um, will be uploaded to um, our website this embedcari.com and uh, at the same uh, page where I, I i am managing this particular uh, language c video so this was about that day one and that day one workshop will follow and i assume that uh, whatever exercise i have mentioned here if uh, you know you create you 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 install uh, f first exercise is that you have to install that um, from our embedcari.com toolbox you will get a link in the technology toolbox you will get link for this basically let me show you that if you are visiting first time so let me show you that so what you need to do you need to go to embedcari.com and here go to the technology section and here you will find this detail or you even if you go to the toolbox and in the toolbox you got this eclipse id and it provides the default eclipse link and it provides this link to the same point and because i may be changing this later so that's why uh, you know that uh, i have provided link here also so you go through all this follow this exercise step by step complete step first day exercise that installation of this particular thing and follow all the steps and then if you face any problem then we will see that and first program you should be able to create and then come back for this particular workshop solution thanks for your time and we will discuss queries in the class